and so here we go um welcome to bunny's designs this is a live stream uh again without chat unfortunately it's a live stream for you stream and also recorded for youtube uh i'm gonna start to make my little book of colors so i have my new paper chase book and i have um my old one which i kind of distorted a little bit so i meant to ask but without chat i can't do i meant to ask what i was going to do so first of all you need the size of your photo pocket booklet the paper chase one's quite nice because it's got a good thick cover and the pages are the right way around um, and vertical sorry horizontal but this is a poly pocket and you could put the plastic in either way um, but the best thing to do is to you can get about 10 pages into here so the best thing to do is to find what size you want and create it that way around rather than make the pages first so you need to find your poly pocket or your poly view or your photo book um, this one's from the from Wilco's in the UK. It's a CD holder, but I thought you could manipulate it to hold the plastic sheets, and that's got quite a nice uh, covering. Covering, and it has a lovely oh excuse me a lovely um, fastening, an easy fastening, which will which is brilliant for the. Um, in fact, I might do that on this one. So if I if I cut a hole in the back here, I can attach some elastic, and that would give me this nice cover, which I quite liked about that. So that's the first thing to do, and then you need to get your photocopy paper. And luckily, Tight Yorkshire Lass, even for photocopy paper, I'm just having one sheet of paper cut lengthways folded it in half and that gave me the first page and this is where you would put your photograph on so you put your face page in there and i think you've got to jigger it about a bit so i've got it so there's an end piece here and i intend to label that put the label in there i'm going to glue it so it doesn't move and then of course this is the second page And I don't glue mine in. You can put some double sided if you want. Mine don't move. Because it sits on the edge like this, it does not move. And um, I could do with a couple more. So if I get another piece of paper. Just thought I'd have another play with chat, but better not because I'll get cross again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I can't do with things that don't work, it gets all my nerves. Right, just probably two seconds. I just need to kind of. I literally don't have any space to turn around. And once I sit down, that's it. I can't do it when the printer's even started on me now, that's not nice. Sorry, I meant to not the camera, I do apologise. Oh. So, um, photocopy paper. And fold it in half. I mean, this is because I know what my size is. Um, there's no reason to make it out of anything else. And because it's just going in there, I'm just going to do this. It probably won't work today because nothing else has worked. <laughs> right, 
so then it won't turn fold that into half I do have bone folders in there though I've popped it if you put it a bone folder and get some nice creases obviously people can go there's the gremlin in the round again isn't there the Ustream gremlin's been about hiding things and moving things I call them the gremlin there's other words for them but I call them the YouTube gremlins but this will do it it's just difficult for me to hold that so that's going to nice crease and that's going to go into there I didn't think it would matter, it had some writing on it. I thought I'd just use it some photocopy pen cover. So I'll put that into there. And then we want one at this side as well. If I turn that one over there, you can't see it because of the other page. Again, that's quite nice. So put that one into there. So sorry about chat guys. I said it's supposed to be a live stream with live people. And it's just me. So we have um, a piece of paper there. And we have one there. We have one there. Yes. And it is the idiot's test. Because <laughs> I, I don't want one in there. Um, I don't have one at all in that one. So they're always in that side. That's why. I thought there was something going on. So I can't use that. I'm going to use one that doesn't have anything written on it. Oh, sorry about the glare. There'd be a bit of a glare there, wouldn't there? So we put that into there, and we say, I thought I could communicate with chat. Oops, I made a mistake. And the thingy, but even that's not doing it. So yep. And it does. It says it's 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 exactly the same as it was before. So as it says. If I think about it anymore, I should get so cross. And um, if you get a nice crease on there, when you come to do some mad tearing, it's a little bit easier. So you're going to want that to cross there. You can take your time. And So that's given me um, a page on that side, a page on that side. There's a page on every side. And I've also so that's a page on every side there. And this is just a photocopy paper, so it's not really very precious. And then, of course, there's one, the yeah, exception is the one on the back, because obviously that's got an extra page there. So we've got quite a few pages. So they're all our pages. They don't move now, unless we want them to. So I might leave the first page, because I could possibly put those 
watercolours on here. So in theory, all you have to do now is I've just taken apart a small, what we call a A6 sketchbook of this Sea Life pound shop, uh, sorry, pound, it's good quality sketchbook paper but it's basically an a a5 size so the, but there's no reason why you couldn't get one of these uh, sketchbooks there's a daily rowney 199 and what you need to do is i'm going to use this for inktober but i'm sure i can pull out i take the center one out you pull the center page out you're going to get four pages from one double set, double set, seat, double page. So depending on the size that you're using. So if you're using this page, you can cut them like this. So they want to be, for my particular thing, they're going to be um, 18 inches go. They want to be eight inches by I think it's five uh, five and three quarters folded in half but of course I've just taken these out of a book so they work quite well and then what's that's given me on that first page I haven't made the squares like my original book my original book is the photocopy page and then squares but because this has held up really well from wood water the, because it's dry water coloring i'm not going to do squares i did them because i thought if they got really damaged i could take that off and not ruin the whole page but basically they're holding up quite well it depends how rough you're going to be with them if you think that you're going to kind of annihilate one particular square more than any other then i suggest you do it in squares and you could do them in individual squares and stick them on if you really wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that page of complete sketchbook paper for that colour. And then when you turn that over, because of the way I've made it, I have my other page. So I've made it a lot simpler. And once I glue that into place, that's going to hold in quite nicely. So that's given me my two pages to put whatever I want on there. When I'm doing these um, peerless, I obviously still might do that because I've got the um, colour tester. That's my colour swatch. That is my colour. That tells me I got a dot of colour and a damp brush and kind of swiddle it down. I get the darkest and then again that's the way of the nature of the water colouring it slowly releases the dampness and it dilutes the colour so you get a really nice ink, ink indication of what you can get out of that and that's what makes 10 shades out of each colour each one some some haven't worked as well as others um, but kind of here you can see that those that's a really deep color and it's nice and pale there and um, the lemons again and I've done that with every, every every single color so the peerless can be put on, on a sheet then I've just stuck these onto this this is photocopy paper and because of the nature of my old book because I actually cut up one of these poly pockets, one of these photo pockets, and that's why it's all rough and horrid around the edges. Whereas I'm hoping that this one is going to be really nice and neat because I'm not cutting them up. That, that, I hope that made sense to everybody. I hope that made sense. So, um, as I say, this is a, a live recording with live people, uh, with, but minus chat today, unfortunately. Um, and I'm really going to promise to try and get that going for next time and hopefully that will work but so uh, what I'm making is I'm remaking my little book 
so that every week um, we're going to put something, some kind of colours into here. I'm sorry, the puppy wants to get into here. So I need to, I need to glue this side down and this side down so that stays to here. But it's going to be easier to put the colours in like this. You've just got to remember that they're that way up. And you can round the corners and you can make them slightly neater than mine. And you can draw the squares on if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to, what to put in the front. I think I'd like to put these in the front. Because that lends itself quite nice. I don't think I want them at the back. I think I want them at the front. So I'm going to leave the first page. Um, so that leaves me. It's decided where you want things. What's your favourite, really? And uh, the other one just I just made up as I went along. But of course, this one I've got time to think about it. So it makes a bit of a difference. Uh, so thanks for joining me. There are some people watching me live, and then I was recording this for YouTube. Uh, but thanks ever so much for sticking with me because it's uh, a bit of a pest when you can't. Uh... I'm quite tempted to label this one actually before I could label it and then slide that into there, couldn't I? Because I have an extra piece that I'm not using. And it's going to be the perfect size. I could kind of, I could double that over there like that. And I have got some scissors somewhere. The scissor monster's been now. <laughs> it's not the Ustream monster, it's the scissor monster. Scissor monster. I had several pairs of scissors yesterday, and now oh, I've got some little deedy ones. Look at these, aren't these ridiculous? I'm doing it this size because I want it to. We're not going to see much of that underneath. So I could stick it to there. So I've got to decide what I'm going to call that. So I might just make a couple of those. As I say, so welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm really sorry. The Ustream um, live chat is non-existent today. Uh, but on Saturday I'm going to the computer shop. And it'll have to be a new computer. Or he'll tell me which button to turn on. I used to think I was intelligent and so I tried to play with the Ustream. So if it had been a proper show, I would have I wanted to dedicate it to Terry Wogan blessing because this is my first year of streaming and it would be his fiftieth. And I can't believe that I'm streaming live. But uh, I had a very strange moment in uh, in the Abbey this morning. I thought, oh, well, it'll be very quiet. I'll just, I'll just very gently stroll around, and that's not perfect, but I'm not really bothered about the fact that it's not. I thought I'll just really quietly, I'll stroll around in my little stroller with my little camera, and I'll just see what I'm going to draw for Inktober, and see if I can do it live. And I was hoping, um, I. I'd spoken to a couple of people, but I get really confused, and I think I confuse them, and so I got everybody a little bit, uh, a little bit confused of what was going on. Now, how many have I got? I've got four, five, six. I've got seven, and I think I've got ten here. I've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
yeah, so I'm going to have to do the tight Yorkshire lass and cut them in half. Now, I could do these a lot neater. I could do this an awful lot neater, but um, in theory, if I cut that in half, I just have to write quite small. I'm doing it here now. Get my little paper cutter out, that would be easy. Oh dear. So, I thought I'd. I should have done this and they would have been really neat then, but. Uh... At least the neat edge can go on the far side, so that would be good. And then if I just put those into there. So what I thought would be really, really nice, because there's, there's some really fantastic carvings and stonework um, that lend themselves to colouring in shapes, and line drawings and Inktober. Um, but I think I scared myself to death because I'm not sure I'm brave enough to do it now, but thought about streaming live but I think I've talked myself out of it um, but I, what I thought I could do is if I sat and sketched for an hour or so and if the chat was working lol I could people could sketch along with me because they will see what I see and I've been practicing having a bit of a look around today with the live camera so that I could set it up and I would be sat near and drawing and sketching um, and um, I don't when I'm drawing I don't draw with a pencil I just draw and then I thought well that's quite sketch scary because I think a lot of other people sketch them out in pencil first um, and that's going to have to be a big brave thing for me to do but Hey ho! So that was my idea. And so I'm folding all these up in half so that I can write on both sides what's actually on each individual page. So, of course, on one side it could be peerless and on the other side it would be whatever. So I think I've got enough there. I've got a really fine pen. Um, but I'll probably tuck those in the back page and do them as I go along, if that makes sense. So I shall just keep... Um, I haven't decided what I like, but I like that order. It, it works quite okay for me. So, in theory... In theory, I want here the peerless. And I could do... I could put those in there. So if anybody's not... Oops! my little book that fell on the floor. Oh. Two seconds. I thought I could perhaps this this is how this is what how it arrives from and I haven't even opened those yet. So I haven't been in here since I made my book. Uh, quite a few years ago now. So I got the Peerless Dry Spot Five Colours, the Bonus Pack, and the Photo Tinting Kit, which I've never used, and the Peerless. I don't know if everybody's seen these. Again, really apologetic, no chat. Um, so I'm talking to myself, and you're probably screaming at me. So I apologise. So these are the Peerless. And you get the little book and all the history. And then all of a sudden you come to a page. So I bought these and everyone looks different. So that's a pearl grey. Um, but that's a mahogany brown. But the yellows are... It's a deep yellow is that one. So I've got that little strip there. So that could make a mini one. I just thought I might cut that off and make a mini one. Um, 
so I need to sort out the size that I'm going to use this is my this is my paper that I want to use and on there I obviously want to get a square of colour and a colour swatch and I think what I did is because these came in this size I think I followed, I followed what they would be once I cut them in half I think I cut them in half and that was the size that I was going to use um, the only thing I would warn you is when you take these out of here keep them in order because they are in order as they appear they are not labelled um, so again that's the word of warning so I might do that off camera because that's going to be a bit of a pest so you take the first your first one and I would write down what it is and I would put the because I did the I did it differently I made each square so I would put the square on do the color and write the, write the color and then do the color swatch and then I spread them out and I did the colour swatches and it's only when you do the colour swatches you can put them in colour order because they're not in colour order I think that's what I found so it took me then ages to put them in order the darker, lighter, lighter, darker especially with the yellows and the yellows are quite nice because I have them all in front of me most of the yellows are on there the same with the greens most of the greens are on there and that's why I quite like this little book. When you go through the Derwent ones, they're all in order as well. So your your Derwent watercolours, all the blues, are all, they're all in order. So it starts with the palest yellow and it goes through the yellows to the oranges to the reds. And I quite like that. And then it goes through the greens and then the browns. So that's quite a nice order and it seems the most logical order as well. So, so that's what I've been uh, thinking about doing. And I'm still trying to sort this out. But if I do that, as I say, I would get myself so cross and, uh, and get fired in. I'm getting really cross with myself. So I wanted a fine pen, which I thought I'd uh, sort it out. I don't know if it's... Oh, sorry, the camera's got to go down as well. This is a fairly... I don't think there's any ink in this one, is it? No, there's no ink in probably going to use these for Inktober because I've been looking at the other things and they've uh, driven me quite demented so I think that's going to be on there as well so that's how you do the peerless um, and I'm conscious that if I put these in here I won't have an, an extra set I won't have a spare set So I have to buy some more. I'm looking here. Let's see if that works. This is a nice. Uh, I think I don't know if these are labelled or not. Have a look. Let me see. But the colours are so different, and that's not the colour. That's the colour on that side. And that's the colour on that side. That's the colour on that side. And I think that's the colour on that side. This is a nice a nice square. It seems to be a nice um See what happens with that then. Yes, I like that size. I like that size there because that's going to allow us to get extra colours on there 
and then we can leave a gap aside for the name and the colour swatch and I quite like that one so I haven't used that yet so what colour do we say that is now? what's happening now my goodness me that is a door so welcome to Bunny's Designs now I found I don't know what I've found I thought this might help but it's not doing so we'll go back to there it's not it's not doing what it wants to do it did it last time anyway I found the colors I want I found the size I want so it's about mm, I might just cut that in half I might cut that in half to give a small strip and that will go that way around so that's what I'm going to do I'm pretty sure that these five are they five colors suppose me um, the door is going to completely fall down and we've got orange and sky blue I don't think I've got sky blue no I haven't got sky blue so I don't have I don't have these colours dark green which is green I'm pretty sure I don't have a dark green so we have got well they're the two orange that's the sky blue and that's the green so this was the brilliant yellow we won't know <laughs> we won't know until we do the color swatch <laughs> right so let me have a look and the idea they send you a photograph as well so you can do the color tinting Oh no, wait, one glass mat. Five colours, two, four, no, five colours, another five colours. And in here, so we don't have a sky blue then in here. I thought that was sky blue. Yes, I did think so. They are, they are repeated. I thought they were. I did think so. So this set here and this set is the complete set I think oops the ivory black spot black opaque uh, this is a complete set and I think it's 40 odd so you need all I bought all three um, I'm going to pop them back into there I did like that size actually but when I was looking I like this I like this size and I like that So I'm going to go for that. So let me go back into that because as I say they are there's the brilliant yellow, the uh, Japonica scarlet. I mean that's a flesh tint. <laughs> Love it. Geranium pink. Oh that's my fave colour. Japonica scarlet out there come in frame oh my door goodness don't you love dogs deep blue pearl grey But they last a long time, so I'm not worried about that. Yes, these must be separate because obviously I've taken 
I think these two are in my in one of the sets then obviously um, lamp black and um, there's a pearl, pearl grays in here warm sepia Uh, pearl grey, so they're in there as well. So that's the pearl grey and that's the pearl grey colour swatch. So these are obviously in there. Oh, th and these are, these are actually uh, that's the back and that's the colour. Warm sea appear and the pearl grey, I think, as I say, they're in the other one. And that's all about Charles F. Nicholson in 1885. And they were they were made for uh, photo, colour, colour tinting black and white photographs. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need... I'm going to cut that little square off, I think, because it's annoying me now. And it's deciding if I want this size. Or this size. So if I used half of one of those. If I used half of one of those. I mean, these, I say these have been used, and look how much I've used. A little dot. You don't need a lot, they're very vibrant leaves. I think my favourite is the geranium one, so let's have a look at the geranium one and see how far that's gone. That's the, that's the rose one. There's the geranium one. I use that one all the time. So that's the only one that's kind of had quite a lot of attention shall we say but I do love that colour hmm. right so we pop those back into here so I, I like the size of that square and I like the size of that square and if I put that into there Not as big as that, but it's not far out. Now that's going to be half that. Oh, I could just use that. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Yes, I could just put those in, and then we're just putting those straight into there. That's what I could do. Sorry, guys, I can't really make mind up what I'm doing. I do apologise. And It's on private chat, but I can't get it off. I don't know why it's on private chat, but that's what it says. So I know what it is, but I can't do anything about it. It's on private chat. I know what a problem is. <laughs> it's just not helping me because it's not going to do. It's not going to do anything. Right. It 
it says I don't have chat device. <laughs> Sorry. I just find it ridiculous. But hey, hell, that's me. I can break anything I can. So there's the peelers to be popped in there. Um, you can decide, you've got to decide what size you want to do that, really. Um, in my first book, because I took the spine out, I had that in there, which is a postcard size. Um, so I quite like the idea of putting those into there, and then I would need those in there. Wouldn't I? could possibly cut some squares up first, couldn't I? So I've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 12 on there. Which is 24. I know what I'm going to put in the first one, I think. So... That wants to be on there. And I don't have a, just six of something, do I, to go in there? So this one I will want it to be. So I've had that one there, and then I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Gee whiz, my door. Five. No, I'm going to do it at the back. Sorry, guys. Got myself in a pickle. Right, so I've left the back page. So here, I've got two separate spaces. And I don't need... I don't need... Particular area. I'm going to take that out of there and that out of there, and I'm going to put that there for the minute. And I quite like, but that's only 12, isn't it? 6, 12. For goodness sake. So if I put that there. Honest to goodness. Don't excuse me. When one is having a day, sorry about that, but there's only half a dollar left anyway. I would like the other half left. I don't end up doing something to somebody today. Right, pencil. Let's get on with this because it's getting... Uh... Let's get the pencil on that. This has been a bit of a disaster, but hey, hell. Right, so we've got... Um, I don't have to be 
eggs that is just exactly what you want to do that's all I am just um And um, you can do it neater, but I don't really think there is a lot of need for, to be too neat. I'm just going to have a general, a general area. I think this lends itself to that um, because it depends how you work. But it's a bit, it is a bit messy. Can't lie about that. It's going to be a bit messy. So I've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got. Okay, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I've got 18 on here, and if I did the same again, it's another 18. No. 18 will do, because I'm not going to use black or white. That will be fine. 18, perfect. Right. Sorry. Brain is definitely not in gear. So, in here is sorry R um oh my goodness gracious me sorry about that the hydras and these will work for any good quality there's a black did I get the white out first don't bother with black and I'm gonna bother black and white I don't think so I've got um I've got three yellows I've got three reds, I've got an orange and two browns and I've got three, six, nine, twelve. <laughs> oh no, another blue. And a green and a purple. I suppose I could put black. So that's my 18 colours. I thought I had 20. I must have, I must have lost a colour somewhere. Right. So pop those back in there, and as I as I do them, I should put them away. So this has taken a bit of time, kind of organising. Just uh, let me just put that onto there. I know what I want, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, so I've got oops, 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 oops. I made a mistake because I didn't need to take this out. So we've got a page there. I don't know why there's a double crease on that one. I think it's because I pushed them in and then brought them out again. But anyway. So we have got a spare page at the back and then on the first double at the back because I think that would be quite a nice place to put them I'm going to put that into here like so because I don't need I don't need if I, just push those up there. I don't need any paper on this one these got to go on plastic with plastic over um, and when I've done this I won't be able to play about with it so I'm going to put the label on so I can open up the label and because I'm a very untidy writer I can put oops I can put Doctor, goodness me, it's one of those days today. Doctor P. H. Martins. Hi, 
dress. Fine. Add watercolors. And I can if I stick it at that end. Double-sided sticky tape. On there. And if you want it perfect, you can measure it to be perfect. So that wants to be there. So that will be there, and then that will be there. It's a bit of sticky on those, so when you get that up to the top of there, that's at the end. So we need to need to put that up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them out to dry and then I will take them off and I will label them. And that will give me a rough idea of what everything is. So, um, oh, that's a brown and that one goes up there. So, um, probably know what they all are without keeping them in order. So, um, I've got this pen going. So, I'm really sorry about chat, everybody. Okay. I can't believe I've not sorted it. I thought it would be sorted by now. So that one is a carbon black. And the only reason to label it is that if you want to refill it. So there's carbon black. And then we'll have a phthalo green. H T H Taylor Green and the purple one is Cobalt Violet. And then we have French Ultramarine. And we have a phthalo blue. And then we have cobalt blue. And we have burnt umber. Venetian brown and brilliant. Oh, brilliant cad red. Wait a second, is that brilliant? Red? Is that right? Yeah, and brilliant cad red. And we'll have the um, Deep red rose. Oh, we'll put that one here, I think. Maybe. No, no, deep red rose. And 
alles in Crimson. And we'll have a quinacridone, quinacridone magenta. I'm just going to put magenta. And then we have uh, yellow ochre. And we have gamboge. And that's a lemon yellow, is it? Hansa yellow. A light. And that leaves me room for three more. I'm not going to put white on there. Um, I suppose I could put white. I could put white rays. May as well put white in there. So you've got titanium white. And so, if I put that in here now, and also, yeah, I'll put that there. And these will be staying here overnight to dry. One night, possibly two. And I'm going to put, I want it as flat as possible, because I want these to dry these to dry so I think that's as flat as possible and um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the color on here so that when it's dried whoops that's not going to sit is it I've got this bit of area to play with like I was using before and that's just going to give me that little bit extra space I don't want to do any colour mixing I could do the colour mixing on this side as long as I wipe it off later and give them a little bit of a shake and then you squeeze oh, that bit on there. A nice blob of green on there now I would prefer this to be broken apart but it's not going to do that it's not going to be a spread out spread. now if I get chance before it dries completely um, I'm going to use a spatula and kind of see if I can get a bit of flat square colour um, but it's not looking like it's going to do that it wants to sit there and there's probably twice as much colour on here than I had before. Um, and so just looking at these, sometimes it's a little bit kind of strange thinking, wow, what, what, which blue is that? So now I don't have to do that. No point doing a colour swatch because um, on the other one it will show you the difference. Once you start using them, you can see the difference. Just seeing how big a blob I can actually get on there, so and that's the cobalt blue. And again, I've just done this so that you can't see really the wood for the trees on the one I've got in there. So, um, this way, oh, see, I couldn't use these every day because I don't know where this I must have spilt this brown one. But that's going to give me a lot of colour in a little thin space, so that's quite nice. So there's a little hydrus one there. And, and again, the other one that I've done was kind of a prototype. It was just a pretend one, a made-up one. I think there's a hundred colours on here, so you could put a drop of each colour however many you have and again I'm, I'm so sorry that uh, you know, 
it's always in crimson and I've just done that wrong uh, that's quinacrinone so I've got two choices Oops, I either move that across <laughs> just found this I just thought it might work No, it's not going to work. Oh, it's disappeared. <laughs> Whoa. Can I really carefully constitute it back into a bubble? Oh, well, that was <laughs> interesting. Just need to wipe that from there. And I had a bit of a, stri a dribble, but because it's on the outside, oh, I've damaged one of those, but I can re... This is such a vibrant colour that uh, I've just got a tiny drop on there, so I'll, I'll probably have to get that off there. Right, so that was the Quinacrinone Magenta. Almost a disaster. And this is Elysium Crimson. And a deep red rose. And then we have um, yellow ochre. And we have the gamboge. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous lemon, orange, um, warm yellow colour. I've just got to be a little bit careful because that colour could just run off there just as easy. So that is why this is not going <laughs> anywhere. And then we have the Hansi yellow there. So that looks a little bit smarter than mine now, and I know how it reacts, so I'm going to be that little bit more careful with it. The white seems to be a lot thicker, and I've just made a bit of a... The white seems to be an awful lot thicker, and I haven't played with the white yet, but I'm going to do some colour mixing with these, uh, because I'm, I've, I've kind of... So that's the carbon black. I'm just going to just add a touch to that so hopefully you can replace them at the same time so can, oh, phthalo green and just make that kind of a little bit of a fatter bottle as well they look like little fat beads <sighs> so sorry going that I've uh, messed up the chat And I won't need a colour swatch because as soon as I start to manipulate this colour out when it's dried, I will get a lovely colour swatch um, that should look a little bit better than that one. But I did shut those when they were wet, so I'm not going to shut that down now. It should do. So that's a little bit neater and it's labelled. So that's the first page. <laughs> Um, that's the first page that's the first page so I'm sorry about that guy this is uh, this is supposedly a live stream um, but it's not turning out to be too live because I messed up chat again again I have to uh, have a serious look at this and 
I don't know why it says chat privately. I don't want to chat privately. I don't want to chat with everybody else. But it just will not let me do that. Um, so, oops. So they're a bit uh, very wobbly. Um, and so I've got to be really careful with those now because they will literally just run off their plastic. But once they're dried, um, and I, I'll probably tomorrow I'll be able to just kind of spread them out a little bit better so that I can make them a kind of flatter because obviously when they touch this, they're going to be squished. They're going to be a bit more squished. Um, but it does make that I've got that little bit more control over the colour and because these are so vibrant, you can tell there's a lot of colour just being splashed about there. Um, so I'll stop this recording for this one because this is the first part. Um, and I was, I'll probably just go back out into the thing and see if I can get it going again. Or I can record on a different kind of thing. So if I lift this up, I'm just conscious that these are probably going <laughs> to... Oh, my puppy is just going to bark. Sorry. So I'm going to move these to dry. Um, but that's going to give me some quite vibrant colours. Whoops, I've dropped the black. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the thalo green has gone into the whatever it was this is when you lose the will to live again oh my goodness um oh, for goodness sake the world it in for me today so the thalo green has now run into something else <laughs> and made a completely different color so i'm going to just lift that tiny bit of color off the thalo green and um, what color was it it was the it was the thalo blue so if you mix thalo blue and thalo green you've got what i've got so I'm going to put, I've got two spare spaces, so I'm going to put some phthalo blue. I'm just having a disastrous day today. Phthalo blue. So if I put phthalo blue on there, um, I've created a, oh, that might be a turquoise then, because I was playing with that the other day. And this isn't directly dry. So I need something extremely heavy, extremely quickly, and I haven't got anything. I can put that there. So I've got a blob of thalo blue and a blob. So I would think that I would, oh, I think I was playing with French ultramarine last time. Um, what I might do is I might do a bit of colour mixing with these, since we've got them out, um, and have a bit of continuity. So that's my mucky page, but tight Yorkshire lass, I can't bear to put, tear any of that away. And there's also some a bit further up as well. Oops. Oh, and my camera's not attached to anything, so that's delightful. Um, so again, this has got a little bit tatty now, so I can make it again. Um, so I've got the first page done into there. So I'll stop this recording, and then I'm going to just see if I can get back onto a different camera, uh, a different laptop, just to see if I can sort chat out. Because, And then I'm going to do a bit of colour mixing with these, as soon as they're out. Um, just get rid of these. I try to keep things in the same place, it doesn't work. So I might do a little bit of colour mixing with these and finish the... Um, I'll show you the vibrancy of these. Um, I did want to try and get some, uh, what do we call them, Echoline, which are very similar. Um, 
and I'm playing at the minute in this colour here. This is what I did. I started yesterday and then I was just kind of playing about. So the colour's really nice. Um, so if you bear with me two minutes, I'm going to turn this laptop off and turn another one on and see if we can sort uh, this out uh, because this is just no good at all. Um, but thanks for watching. As I say, this is this is a live stream uh, without chat, um, so it's it's me, 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 and me being interactive with me. <laughs> so I apologise about that. Um, but I wanted to make the first page of the little book, and that's what we've done. Can't show you because it's. Uh, <laughs> can't move it but basically there is a drop of each color and it's going to dry um, and that's going to give me um, a, a, another really large amount of color um, so I might just have a bit of a play we could fill the book just purely with colors from these I would think they are so vibrant um, but as I said just if everybody can bear with me that's brilliant I'm going to stop this this video and say thank you for watching i may not um release this because i think it might be just me a lot of twaddle uh, so i'll have to see um and now i've put that on the laptop i can't stop it <laughs> um that was so silly how am i going to do that i've got to find, find the mouth Two seconds. Yes, that was such a silly thing to do. Um. Oh, stuck to the bottle. 